In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a C logo. So hi guys and welcome back to new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do this simple C logo which you can see right in front of you. Alright, so let's also get right into it. First of all what I'm going to do is create a new canvas which I'm going to do under File, New and I'm going to choose again my pixel or basically my re screen recorder with here which is basically 1920 by height 1080 pixels as well resolution 300 then as well all the standard settings here from Photoshop. You guys are welcome to use any um, canvas size that you need. I'm just going to work with these. Okay, so I've got that ready. Let's also press F here, get out of the full screen mode. I just want to drag this canvas to the side. We don't need that. Let's press F again, full screen mode, so we're not distracted by the background. Alright, so right away let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to double tap here onto the new layers or basically just this background layer. I'm just going to rename this to basic, okay? So that's our first start and we're going to have just a pure white background for today's tutorial. Then as well, I'm going to go up here to my actions palette. If you don't have actions, please just go to window, select actions. I'm going to select my guidelines over here and quickly run the guides. So just press enter here and we get our cool guides. If you don't know how to do that, check out our action tutorial. All right, so for the next step, I'm going to go to the marking tool. Oh no, actually I'm going to go to shapes today. So let's go back to custom shapes over here. Just select your custom shapes or you can press U on the keyboard. Alright, under the shape presets, I'm just going to open my preset library here. And you guys can see I've got tons of different shapes. Some of these I've created myself and most of them I've downloaded from the web. So just go onto the web, write in Google free shapes for Photoshop and you'll find tons of stuff. And also here in the description down below, you will also find some stuff. Alright, so basically what I'm looking for is something like this. I think this is even standard from Photoshop. So I'm going to select this ring here and it's basically just an outer ring. Okay, so I've already got that. First of all, I'm going to hold Shift now so it's equally expanding and I'm just going to drag this all the way out like so. Okay, great. So that's already my first shape and that's going to be the outer line from this logo. Okay, let's just select it here with the move tool and we're just going to move it somewhere into the center. I'm also going to press command T in order first of all to see these little anchor, these little dots or boxes here. So they tell me where I can space them and then obviously I'm just want to place it right into the center. Okay, except that from the top don't transform anything but we still need to change obviously the color. So let's select shape layer again, press U on the keyboard so you get back into the shape tool. And right here on the fill we can basically just tap on there and fill this up with a dark blue. So I'm literally going to choose this. Let's maybe have a look for that other one down here, this really dark blue. You guys can also choose whatever you want to. It's obviously a creative approach. All right, so I've got that. Then as well, what I want to do, first of all, set in that. I want to get rid of these outer lines here. They irritate a little bit. So I'm going to press Command Shift H together and they're hidden again. I'm working with a Mac. If you work with a Windows PC or whatever, just press Control when I say Command. Alright, great. So now first of all we have that. Now we need to get in some C here at the bottom, so basically some water. So how are we going to do that? It's very simple actually. We're going to create a few guidelines and then on the guidelines we're going to work with some selections and as well here with the marking tool. So let's get started. First of all, I'm actually going to choose my move tool. Let's go to view and uh, new guides. Yes, that we can do just via this area here. Basically ha you have to select rulers. So go to window and uh, no view and select rulers over here so then these rulers will appear in your photoshop window in your workspace all right great so first of all i'm going to take i'm actually going to zoom in a little bit closer and i'm just going to go with the move tool right onto the ruler hold on the mouse and just drag down a line here and i'm just going to drop it somewhere over here do that holding spacebar move around your image or canvas and then also again the same process and I'm literally going to drop a line in there and again here from the left side just go under the toolbar or you can also drag out the toolbar and just place one over here I'm actually going to put my toolbar back okay spacebar move over and take another guideline put that in here great okay let's zoom out so first of all, we're going to create now a round shape in here. So basically a selection. We're just going to go over here to the left side, select the elliptical marking tool. All right, then as well on a new layer. So let's create a new layer here 
and we're just going to write here shape 2 maybe okay and again I'm going to go to hold shift go to the corner here of the lines hold shift and just start with my marking tool and literally go all the way down to here so the reason why we created these guidelines is that we can have a perfect center selection here and a circle but I'm not going to completely go until to the lines here so we have a little bit of a gap as you guys can see like so okay so you guys can see this little gap over here so now I'm just going to move my selection a little bit with the marking tool again so literally just press M for marking tool and now just use your cursors so a little bit to the right like three times and a little bit down okay and a little bit more a little bit more you guys can also be more precise with this if you use more guidelines okay so literally I've just got this little gap around this white circle or selection here so I want to fill the selection first of all and then still have this white gap okay so literally with the marking tool just press right click inside of the selection go to fill and say here under content area you want to fill this with color and then select the color that we had here from the outer circle so select that okay okay and we have a new circle here alright I'm gonna press command D get out of the selection and now as well what I want to do is maybe just turn the opacity down a little bit so we can just work a little bit better that we might change again okay yeah, I'll say like 40% that all depends on you as well alright I'm gonna zoom a little bit closer now what I want to do is create some waves in here so that I will do with again a few guidelines so first of all let's select another guideline all the way down and this is obviously let's maybe I'm just gonna press command Z go step back here this is obviously 50% in the center and this line as well so what we can actually do is go to view we can go to new guide and we can say horizontal and if we say 50% this is obviously going to be in the center so let's maybe start out and say 60% okay so directly we have a line here at the bottom and that's a little bit too far down so maybe somewhere in the center or like in the middle of those two lines gonna go back to new guide again horizontal and this time I'm gonna say 55 percent okay and we have again a center line there now as well the same applies here to the horizontal line so let's go to view new guides and we're gonna say vertical this time and this is again 50 so let's say 60 because this is obviously a little bit wider here as well well I'm just doing mistakes this is a little bit wider these gaps here so let's go for 60 okay yeah and this is kind of wide as well maybe hmm. let's give another try if we go to view new guide and instead of 50 or 60 we're gonna go to 55 again percent yeah also not really doing the deal for me what I'll do is maybe just select this layer this guideline move it all the way out and take the 60 guideline and just move it in a little bit so it's gonna be most probably at 59 or 58 let's just go to view new guide and we're gonna say that 59 percent okay let's see yep yep and it's actually a little bit less still so I'm gonna go do the same process again new guide 58 this time so this is obviously a little bit of a playing thing yeah it does a little, take a little bit of time so yeah I'm happy with that 58 okay let's go all the way up and that's like one curve over here maybe another one we can also play with that now we still need to create one over here so let's go to view new guide okay I'm gonna select here 38 pixels okay let's select that yo and that's also all the way out let's just select it uh, manually so I'm gonna take the move tool and literally put it also here somewhere into the center so you guys can be a little bit more precise with this as well I'm going to take this one again move tool and move it just a little bit over so I'm just having a look here at the spacing obviously you guys can calculate that a little bit more precise alright so for the next set that I want to do now is create again a new layer here we're going to take the pen tool also if you guys are not familiar with the pen tool have a look at our pen tool tutorial okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer let's press pen tool one anchor point over here and one anchor point over here yep and we still need another line in the center of that so just escape all again with escape I'm gonna take another guideline all the way to the bottom somewhere into the center here again okay now again pen tool okay we're gonna start now with an anchor point over here and here literally just drag that out like so okay and as well we're gonna put the next anchor point over here and we're gonna have another curve over there 
Just space that a little bit into the center. Okay, and another anchor point over here. And we're going to pull that out again. So check out that pen tutorial. Okay, and last one over here again. Okay, so you guys can obviously play and try a little bit of different waves as well. I'm going to go with this for the start. Now, literally what we still have to do here at the end is just hold Alt, move this anchor point in a little bit. And we're just going to go all the way around here. And yeah, just creating a selection out of this path now. Just complete the path over here, last anchor point, and we have now a new path. Hit right click and say make a selection out of that. So zero feathering, OK. And select again your shape layer number two here. Just hit delete. And also we can delete again this layer. Press command D, get out of the uh, selection here. Delete that layer. Take shape two and just take the opacity all the way up. And there we already have some cool uh, waves in here. So obviously you guys can also play. You can create different waves or like f a few more waves with the pen tool. Play a little bit with that. Okay, so for the next step now, I'm going to go back to view, back to clear guide so I can actually see what's happening here. Great, so that looks all very cool. For the next step that I want to do is add an anchor in here. So I've already created an anchor in a previous tutorial. So have a look at something with a hipster badge. And then as well, we have another tutorial where I'm teaching you guys just how to work with shapes. Have a look as well for that so you guys can learn how to create your custom shapes as well. I'm literally going to press U now on the keyboard, go to my presets here again and going to call up my anchor all the way. So I'm going to go all the way down, yep, to the bottom here and there I have my anchor ready. So very simple again, selecting the anchor here. I can now simply go onto the logo again, hold shift so it's equally expanding here and I'm just going to create a really cool big anchor like so. Okay, going to drop it in there. The same procedure as before. I'm going to go to fill and just fill this up with the same foreground color here. Great. Let's just select the move tool. We can move it a bit into the center. Let's as well go to actions here again, get our guides. Yeah, now with the cursors up and down, move that a little bit in there. Okay, command shift H, hiding that outlines. I love to hide these outlines, it's just simpler for me. Okay, next step, we're going to zoom a little bit closer. T for the text tool again. And as well, we're going to make a bigger selection here. And we're just going to write C now. Okay, great. Select all of that. And I wanted to write it in capital letters. So S-E-H, okay. And as well, going to select all we have to choose a different font for this. So first of all, I'm going to go back here to the fonts. And I've chosen to go with Park Lane. I just have to find it over here. We go Park Lane. And that looks pretty cool. Okay, as well, white foreground color here. Please just choose a white foreground color. I'm going to make this super, super big, like say around 30 pixels or almost. Going to accept that and just take your move tool and literally just move that again into the center. You can also use your cursors again. Great. Okay, again, I'm going to pull down another guideline to somewhere place it here into the center. And as well, we're going to create now two little dots here left and right, just to give it a bit more detail. So simply, I'm going to create a new layer down here. We can rename that quickly to dots. And as well, obviously, C shape. Yep, I'm going to leave that. Let's just write this out properly. Okay, so again, marking tool here, elliptical marking tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. And going to press M again, hold Shift. So it's equally expanding our selection. And just literally go somewhere in here. And create like a cool little round selection. Hit right click inside of the selection, go to fill and fill this up not with color, with white. Okay, great. Command D out of the selection. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to have a look if that dot is kind of big enough already. And it looks all right. I'm going to press Command J, duplicate that layer, and just move this dot all the way over to this side with the move tool. So somewhere over here, if you guys want, create some more guidelines so you can actually space these dots perfectly away from the font. Like my second dot, or actually the first dot, I'm going to select the first dot layer, press V for the move tool, and just take it with a few taps a little bit to the left. Great. Okay, again, the text tool, we're going to go and create another selection here, and I'm going to write C live. 
So all in small letters, live, okay, I can't see it, just select all with command A. Windows users, please use control. Okay, I'm just going to go to the text tool here and take the font down. And this I want to do as well with a different font. So I'm going to work with Lobster this time. If you guys also want to find more about the fonts, have a look in the description down below or on thefont.com. Really cool place for finding fonts. All right, anyways, here is Lobster 1.4. And as you guys can see, that looks great already. We have a white foreground color again. I'm going to accept that. Just take the move tool and literally move that somewhere here into the center. Very, very simple actually. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to view, clear guides. First of all, I'm going to zoom out, have a look if it feels right, if it's balanced right, if everything kind of looks great. And if this would have been my uh, logo now, I would actually go and create complete new waves because it it looks like it's leaning a little bit to the right. So maybe just create like one wave over here and another small one in here. So it's fading out again. So that I would most probably change now. But I'm not going to show that in your tutorial now. You guys kind of get the point. All right, I'm going to take dots as well here live. Maybe let's just take the text down. We're going to create a new group from that with command G. We can write text here. Again, the shapes, select all of those. By just holding shift, you can select the layers. Press command G and just write here shapes as well. The Windows users, please use control. Dots, yeah, I'm just gonna write here dots, <laughs> great. Okay, yeah, so that's all. Selecting all of these groups, press command G again and you can write here logo or badge or whatever you need to. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it. Showing you guys quickly how to do the super easy C badge here in Photoshop or logo, whatever you want to name it. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it with your friends who can benefit from this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Thanks guys, bye bye.